crumbled ground beef, but then you need to strain away the rendered fat. Or that same chili needs a can of kidney beans where you need to drain away the liquid. Mm -hmm. So where do you find something in your house that you can use to drain away these things? Now, if you've got some kind of sieve or you've got some kind of colander or what have you, then that may work, it may not, but where does the rendered fat or the liquid go? Chef Tony Nataro is here with a set of two grease strainers with bowls and lids. You get a large and a medium size and you get it all for this fantastic price. What you don't want to do is cause any problems with my phone, Tara Tesher, because I can see what you're doing over there, miss. I did an Instagram video before the show, uh -huh. and Tara was over there trying to hide my phone. I know Tara <laughs> like a kid sister. <laughs> yes, I do. All right, so let's all remind you that this is something very special. The large and the medium size. You'll also appreciate the fact that we're doing all this for less than $30, Jeff. Yeah. Absolutely. I love this product that answers a problem that we all have at home, whether you're doing pastas or rendering any type of meats. Here's a perfect example. I love my bacon fat. We talked earlier, you, your mom uses a Mom, mom beans. always used a, a, a coffee cup on the back of the uh, stove that had a broken handle and she would pour the coffee uh, fat mm -hmm. or the uh, rendered fat in there and then she'd use it to season green beans and right. whatnot. Right, and my mom would use an old tomato can. Yep. So, and trying to get that perfectly in there never worked. Forget about it. So now what we did, we put a stainless steel strainer down on the bottom. You can take anything that you fried, what happens is it leaves all of the goodies up in the top, but then all the grease, David, I'll just put this down here, of course. drains down on the bottom. I'm gonna show this also. It has two pour points for left-handed and right-handed people, two handles built right in, and you can see how quick all of that grease oh, and, and trust all me, of that fat. All of that chicken, all that bacon fat down there, that's flavor. That's Mom right. would use that to season her green beans. Uh, there are so many times that you're gonna be, uh, be able to use that for different recipes and what have you. And if you wanna park this in the fridge, or just leave it on the side of the stove. Mom always kept it at room temperature. That's correct. And just kept it off to the side of the stove. Now it'll congeal like this. You take a little spoon, uh, spoonful of that, it drop it in your in your green beans when you're cooking them. It gives a great flavor. Absolutely. And that bacon looks delightful. All right, so let's go through our colors real quickly, Chef. We're getting two of these: a large and a medium, no matter what color you choose. So I've got red. I also have the green. Here it is in blue. And orange is our most limited. Remember, this is $29.96. We had this on earlier this month and already over 1,400 ordered just this month. Now, maybe you're straining some pasta. Now, this is something you probably hadn't stopped to think about, but if you've got a little bit of pasta and you've got a quick job you need to do, just going to take all that starchy water and keep it off to the side if you need to add it back to the recipe. Absolutely. Here's a secret most chefs do, okay? People don't realize. Always save your pasta water a little right. bit. You add that to your eggs or any of the things that you're steaming. It's just going to give it that beautiful flavor. I'm going to lift this up so you can see. There's my pasta water underneath. Now, here's another thing. I can take this to the sink, not use this, and have a larger amount and do it right into the sink and drain all the water, mm. but then reserve some of that. And then you can do it for other things besides hot. So we'll come over here. Um, we do a, 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 a special pizza called scotcha where we eat fresh uh, spinach. Spinach is very watery, but I want you to see. I don't have to run and get a second strainer. One unit's going to do it all. I can actually mix whatever I like right in here. There's all my juice. There's my spinach on top. You mentioned that chili. We take our beans. We literally just pour it on the inside. So now I can drain and I'll just lift this up again. The handles are built right in. So you can see all of that excess that's dripping out. And then David Bean that comes with a cover. We made a salad over here that you can actually take the beans, mix them together in here, take your salad, cover it, pop it in the fridge, and you're ready to go. Oh, that's great. Now, could I put this in the microwave? Um, you could if you wanted to, but sure. But obviously minus the lid, or if you did use the lid, just park it kind of askew. On an angle, right. Yeah, exactly. So it'll allow it to vet. Now, you buy whole tomatoes, stewed tomatoes. You need to strain away that liquid. That's correct. This is easy. Well, the reason we do it this way, you want to strain out that liquid. When I'm doing my tomato sauce, I cut the caps off and I squeeze out the seeds like my mom taught me, oh. and then I'll blend this with an immersion blender. So if my mom saw this, she would have picked up the phone and ordered 10 of these because we did so much of our <laughs> marinara sauce. But you can see the amount that it'll hold. That's two 28-ounce cans, and it just sits there and it allows that to drain. With the holidays coming up, I'll tell you another thing I love this for, regatta cheese. When you put regatta in here, you want to drain out that extra mm -hmm. milk so you get it into an emplastata. the liquid, Absolutely yeah. perfect. Let's come back to some grease. All right. And again, because it's a high-heat plastic and it's got that stainless 
stainless steel. I'll just take my sazicha, little sausage over here. We'll pour that right on the inside. We'll let that start to drain. I don't have to worry about a mess. I know exactly where my grease is going. And then when I want to get rid of it, once it gets solid, David, I can scoop it out, pop it into the garbage. It won't burn through that bag and we're ready to go. Now, I will also tell you, you've got great colors to choose from. You get two, uh, two of whatever you order. You get a large and a medium size and you're getting the bowl with the lid and the lid uh, will transfer between the two sizes. Is that right, that is Jeff? correct. So you're getting, uh, okay, 2,000 are gone. This is the red. Thank you. This is the green. Here is your blue. And if you want the orange, I have fewer than 600 now wow, left to go thank around. Thank you. So it's all about straining out the solids, whether those, uh, and whatever that liquid is, whether it's water, whether it's rendered fat. This, of course, is bacon, so I'm going to just test I know this you're to make jump sure it's on okay. That. And so everybody knows, David, it comes with two covers. Pretty Both good. sizes have. Saying. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. I love it. Bacon on anything. You put it on right. a car bumper, Emerald said it'll take it. Tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chef Tony. You are the man. You brought me Aww. bacon. You kicked our show off the right. Thank you. Nice to have Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Stay on the line. We've got more going on. And Miss Stacy. Yeah. What's happening over with our live stream simulcast chat thing on Facebook? On your Facebook page, we're all saying hi, getting connected on this Wednesday evening. And we're also checking out our foodie photo on your Facebook page, David. We love to see the dishes you're making at home, your wow shots. This one from Glenn, check it out, gorgeous. It's a grilled chicken and roasted harissa cauliflower. I love cauliflower. Sometimes I like to eat it as an entree, add the chicken and the harissa for that seasoning, that little taste of like Mediterranean Indian kind of Moroccan cuisine. Oh, so good, Glenn. Thank you. If you want to be our next foodie photo, see your dish live on television just send in your photo post it on david's facebook page and use the hashtag foodie photo that is with two f's okay, oh. Big dip. oh tara tesher and i dancing stacy are you the big dip <laughs> oh <laughs> yes judge stacy says a 10 there are two reasons why I will never be on Dancing with the Stars. Number one, not a star. Number two, not a dancer. Only two B reasons? That would be the only two I can come up with, <laughs> yes. Hi, darling. Hi, 